Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be decluttering lipsticks. Um, I don't usually use regular bullet lipsticks anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these all out, arrange them by brand. It is majority ColourPop and NYX in here. I'm going to arrange them by brand and then I am actually going to go through and start swatching all of these to determine whether or not they're still good. Do I even wear these? If they're ones that I think might be expired, I'm gonna toss them. So this is about to be a very long process. So first I'm going to go ahead and take these out and separate them. Okay guys, so I've got them all separated out here. I'm gonna do ColourPop last, which is this whole row here. What I'm actually going to start with is these kind of random singles that I have around here, these guys. Um, so let's start with this one. This is brand new, so I probably won't be getting rid of it. This is the Revlon Ultimate Suede in 025 Socialite. It's really pretty pinky kind of color. Go ahead and keep that because I do need drugstore. Drugstore. Um, this is the CoverGirl O oh Sugar in caramel. This, if I remember correctly, is like a sheer lipstick. I mean, it's not bad, but I'm going to get rid of it just because I don't reach for it anymore. Next is the Rimmel, the only lipstick in 620, Call Me Crazy. This is like one of my few like orangey reds that I have. That one still swatches great, keeping that. Good for almost three years. Next is the Makeup Forever Artist Rouge Creme in C105. I'm also smelling these to see if they've got weird scents happening. This one smells fine, swatch is great. I will keep that because it's one of my favorite nudes. The MAC Lip Tensity Lipstick in Burnt Violet. I just don't use this. I've never swatched it even. This is just too dark of a lipstick for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and toss it, donate it since I haven't used it. The ABH Lipstick in Kiss, this is the nude. Still smells fine. Still swatches great. And this is good for, still good. So then this one's probably okay too. This is the shade Ruby. Great. The L'Oreal Color Riche in 799 Caramel Latte. Huh, that was weird for a moment. Why did I buy this? This is like frosted. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. I don't know why I would have purchased a color like that. I, I guess I was thinking it was gonna be a little bit darker. I would never use that. Um, 402 Blake's Red. These, I still love these. This is probably bad now though because I've had this for a very, very long time. I do also have the shade, oh, this is a different one. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and toss the Blake Red just because I've had this for so long it needs to go away. This is the shade Matte Cadamia 808. This is legit like a washed out nude. So it's a very, Pale, but I really like it nude, so this one will stay. There's going to be a lot of lipsticks being swatched here, guys, so it's going to take me a minute in between to clean my arm off. 
because I also don't want them just sitting on my arms so that they stain. I want to get them off sooner rather than later. Well, that red that I swatched is just was the hardest thing. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to the Bite Beauties. I am going to go ahead and toss both of these. These were gifts when I was at Sephora. Let me zoom in again. These are both gifts when I worked at Sephora, and they're kind of the weird shades, which is why I held on to them. This one is the shade Kale. It's actually a really deep green. And then I have Thistle, which is like a purpley gray. And I'm just gonna go ahead and toss both of these. I've never used them. I just kept them for the what if scenario, but these are definitely expired. Then I have the Amuse Bouche in Sour Cherry. Let's start from this way. Ah, oh, that still swatches beautifully. We have Sugarcane, which is the nude one. Beautiful. I have to stop saying beautiful and stunning. This is the shade Gin Fizz. Oh, bubblegum. I don't have very many bubblegums, to be honest. It's not usually my color of choice. And then I have Dragon Fruit, which is kind of like magenta-y. Still great, still beautiful. These all swatch amazing. They will stay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and swatch my two Alme lipsticks. These are relatively new and they're both staying. We have the shade Go Wild, which is a really pretty nude. And then we have Live Happy. Is that what this one is? Yes, Live Happy, which is like the orangey kind of color. I kind of like it, like the neon coral. It's different and I definitely don't have color like it, a color like it. Then I have two of these Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. I have Back Talk, which is a comfort matte formula. I love this one. This is just gorgeous. And then this one is the shade Zealot, which is um, metalized. That one's really pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on and do the Dose of Colors and the Rock lipsticks. So these are the Dose of Colors, I don't remember what these are called, like satin something lipsticks. I have the shade Glazed. And the shade Butterscotch. And I do use both of these. I usually mix them together. So they're going to stay. I have No Shade, which I think this is a Desi Katie lipstick. Yep, there's that. Then I have More Creamer, Please. It's a little bit darker. Aftermath, which I don't remember who made this one. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Aftermath. And then Hey Girl, which I will keep Hey Girl. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the little rock ones. I have Pinup, which actually, oh no, this one has been used. It's just like a cherry red. We have Barista, which is a very, very pale peach, pinky peach. We have Nudist. Again, nice nude color. Foodie, which this is like an extremely pale pinky pink, like baby pink. And we have Flirt, like a deep magenta. So those guys are all swatching just fine. Actually, the more I think about this, I think I am gonna get rid of more creamer, please, just because it is on the darker side and I never really wear that one. The only time it's been used is when it's been swatched, so I might give it to friends and family. I'll probably disinfect it for them. 
Okay, so that's all the Lorac and the Dose of Colors. Let me go ahead and transfer these guys over to the bin. Now we're gonna go ahead and do NYX. Now these NYX ones, some of these are pretty old and some of them are newer. This one's an old one. This is the Turned Up in the Shade um, something, Wine and Dine. That one's just like a really pretty purple. That one's still pretty okay. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. I know I've got another turned up, this one, which is the shade Mirage. This one is like a really, really pale nude. The two butter lipsticks, I think these are older. I have the shade Mary Jane's which is like a mid-toned red. Uh, I'm on the fence about how old these are. This one's the shade Sweet Tart. You know, I'm gonna get rid of both of these because I think these are old, like really old. I have the matte lipstick in Tea Rose, which still swatches okay, still looks okay. The matte one in Alabama, which is like a brick red. Beach Casual, this is a velvet matte. I actually really like this shade. It's a really pretty like nude. Then we have Couture, which is again a matte. That one looks okay. We have Indie Flick, which is also a matte. That one looks okay. This is Whipped Caviar. This one, I think it's just time for this to get tossed. I used to use this all the damn time. I know that this is extremely old. This is just, it's getting tossed. Then we have Effervescent, which is a matte velvet. This one's like a baby pink. That one's really pretty. Really pretty. Then we have Aria, which is a matte. And that one's actually not looking too great, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss it. Then this one I just bought. This is their new suede matte, and this is in the shade Dainty Days. Yeah, that's a great color, okay. So yeah, basically getting rid of two of those NYX ones, which is pretty good. And actually the more I'm thinking about it, I think these turned ups are pretty old as well, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of those. Now on to ColourPop. So obviously the Villain lipsticks are still okay. I just purchased these. And if you want to see them swatched, you can check out my dedicated video, which I will link up here in the eye for you guys to go ahead and check it out. These other ones, some are new and some are old. So let's go ahead and swatch. Got the shade Quickie. Just like a dark nude. I'm gonna put these with the names up. Carousel. Tiptoe is my favorite. I'm not getting rid of Tiptoe. Love that one. Okay, go ahead and put it back in the bin. Scorpio Moon. Look, purple. Ooh! <laughs> or something along those lines. I'm gonna get rid of that one actually because the color is not very flattering on my skin tone. Seven Springs, this one's new. I actually just hauled this, and that's like an orangey, and I love that for fall. That's gonna be beautiful. Uh, what's your sign? Okay. Come on, sis. Okay. 
spring roll. Now we're getting into the ones I just got. That one's so pretty. Ooh. You're thriving. Ooh, that's like a beautiful, like blushy pinky red. T time, T H Y M E. Ooh, like a darker one. Ooh. Then we have Moody Bloom. Ooh, I actually really love that. You know, I know this is the spring collection, but these will look great in the fall. And then Flowers and... I don't know if that's Season or supposed to be Zen. S-Z-N. Oh. Yes. Okay, so getting rid of two of those, not too bad. I think I might also, if I'm thinking about which ones I use, I might get rid of Carousel. No, actually I'll keep Carousel because I know I've used it a couple of times. I don't use it nearly as much as some of the other shades, but I mean, I do still use it so it can stay. So, I definitely got rid of a few lipsticks. I didn't get rid of a ton. I didn't really think I'd be getting rid of a ton. But this used to be up past the top, the edge. And as you can see, there is a gap. There's like another whole level of lipsticks that could fit up here. So, I'm pretty happy with that. I did pretty good. I got rid of almost an entire layer. So, that's pretty good for me. Okay, guys, so that is it for decluttering the expired and gross lipsticks. If you guys are enjoying this expired makeup declutter, I guess, please give this video a thumbs up. Go watch the entire playlist. They will all be linked right up here for you guys. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.